HipFig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to HipFig's video guide series on Victoria, British Columbia. In this DIY video, we'll be showing you how to get to Craig Darch Castle and what to see once you arrive. The Craig Darch Castle was built by Colbert and Robert Dunsmuir during the 1800s. The castle is now a National Historic Site. It's located at 1050 Joan Crescent. To get to the castle using public transportation, take BC Transit Bus Number 11, 15, or 22 from downtown Victoria, going north or eastbound, and exit at Fernwood. For specific bus stops and routes, look online for BC Transit's Trip Planner. Once you exit the bus on Fernwood, walk about 5 minutes to Joan Crescent. You can also take a pedicab or a pedicab tour. Please go to hipfig.com for the link. Hop on and hop off tour buses like Big Bus and Grey Line also stop at Craig Darch Castle. Visit our website for more information about different ways to get to Craig Darch Castle. The castle is open daily from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. with extended hours from June 15th to September 6th from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. The fee for the castle varies depending on age. Children under the age of 5 are free. The Craig Darsh Castle is a restored mansion. It provides a glimpse of privileged life of the Dunsmuir family in the 1890s. It also provides history of his family who resided here. It was built between 1887 and 1890 on a hill overlooking the city of Victoria. After you reach the castle, you'll wait in line to purchase tickets or you can purchase it online. Then you'll be asked to clean the bottom of your feet using a machine. The architecture of the castle is Richardsonian Romanesque, named after the Romanesque style of architect, American architect H. H. Richardson. This style has heavy picturesque massing, rounded head arches, and cylindrical towers with conical caps. Because the exterior of the building was so heavy, close attention to the interior was required in order to support the weight. The castle is filled with interior wood paneling made from walnut, jarra, rosewood, maple, holly, and oak. At the time of construction, Dunsmuir was the richest man in Western Canada. He died in 1889 before the completion of his castle. His wife, Joan, lived in the castle until her death in 1908. As you go up the stairs and stroll through each level of this four-level building on your self-guided tour, you will see his wealth reflected by the stained glass windows, intricate woodwork, and Victorian-era furnishings. Make sure to walk to the top floor for spectacular views of Victoria. Volunteers are stationed throughout the castle if you have any questions. They are very knowledgeable and highlight some of the castle's history for you. Craig Darge Castle is a historic house museum, therefore it is not ADA accessible. There are no ramps or elevators and it is not wheelchair accessible. There is no drinking or eating in the castle and there are restrooms inside the castle for your use. The castle will take you an hour or more depending on your interest. Combined with a stroll down Fort Street, one of Victoria's oldest commercial streets, it has unique shops, cafes, and restaurants. It's very trendy and hip area. If you want to go down all the way to Fort Street, you'll run across Bay Center and Market Square. All good places to hang out, eat, shop, and people watch. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.